Hi, my name is Jason C., and this is my resurrection story. I was saved at four years old, the traditional, classical, I grew up in a Christian home kind of story. But it took a little time, maybe 10th grade, 11th grade year of high school before I really felt the power of the resurrection or felt like I was living in the resurrection. Trying to live a resurrected life, um, it took me on my own journey. Uh, so for the next couple decades, um, I really went uh, more toward trying to attain and trying to achieve rather than really living uh, in the resurrection on a daily basis. I messed it all up. Uh, trying to seek my own things, trying to seek uh, things that, of the world, trying to seek uh, career, uh, money, uh, status. Um, you start listening to the world and saying, hey, you know, this is what you want. You really want this. You don't really want the things that uh, your parents told you you wanted. And so I struggled and failed and fell. And uh, really, from my perspective, became a a shell of who I was. I was not living in the resurrection. I was resurrected still, still a Christian, still loved God, still tried to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, but was not really living every day uh, in the resurrected life. Unfortunately, my mistakes uh, caused a divorce and uh, I was then uh, led to seek other things. I was still seeking my own resurrection my own thing in life. I was still trying to get, uh, you know, as much uh, money as possible, uh, as much status as possible, and really trying to grow um, my future. Uh, so I thought. Uh, and so I met uh, someone, of course, at work, and uh, we got married. And so marriage number two um, was really focused in on, yeah, trying to do better, trying to have a better uh, relationship. And it wasn't really until uh, tragedy struck that um, God came forth and, and really showed me what it is like to live in the power of the resurrection. My wife actually um, had a brain aneurysm and died. And it was that moment that I realized I, I have nothing. Why do I want to live anymore? Um, God took everything away every night. Um, it was bottle after bottle. It was uh, trying to find things that would make me happy. Uh, still trying to be a father to my kids, but again, uh, another shell of who I was. I decided to take a ski trip with a bunch of guys to Vail, Colorado, right at the top of the mountain of Vail stopped and took a picture and then just started crying. <laughs> and it was that point where I just said, okay, God. And it was as if God was standing before me and um, he said, Jason, stop, just stop. And it was almost like he had his arms folded saying, are you gonna, you done? Are you done feeling sorry for yourself? Are you gonna get on with your life? Because I have some really great things for you. And, um, Shortly after that, a couple weeks after that, um, I was fortunate to meet uh, Crystal, uh, my wife, and um, God blessed me with her. Um, God blessed me with her in the waiting. My name is Crystal C, and this is how the resurrection has impacted my life. I met Jason at a good point in my life. I had been divorced about 10 years. It had been a long 10 years, and God had taught me a lot through those moments. I was at a point where I was seeking God more than ever before. I'm at a really good place, and I was very excited about what God was doing. When I met Jason, he was just full of life and full of joy and, and getting to know him and his story. I was blown away at just the goodness of God in someone's life and how even through tragedy, he was excited about the Lord, excited about where God was taking him and excited that I'd finally met someone that just got it. And so our relationship started off very strong. I was excited about what God was doing through us um, individually as well as together. Um, once we got married, I was the most excited about becoming a mom. Jason has two beautiful children that I had gotten to know and love very dearly throughout our time of dating. And 
God allowed me to just see his grace and his mercy through Jason being a father um, and how strong the kids were um, through so much loss. And I was excited about what was to come for our family. Um, when I met Jason, he knew that I wanted to have children of my own. Through our journey, that did not happen for us. God had always placed in my heart basically a calling to adopt. I didn't know what that would look like. I always thought that would be something that I would do by myself and I was okay with that. I knew God had put that inside of me for a reason and I was excited about maybe one day that happening. And Jason being on board with that was very exciting for me. Um, we didn't know um, how to really start going you know, through that process. Um, we wanted to make sure his kids were okay with it. Once we started the journey, um, it was scary and it was very tedious. We had continued to try to have a child of our own um, and God had other plans. This past December, we adopted a wonderful 13-year-old boy and he has brought um, tons of joy in our life. I can't even imagine a life without him at this point. And just to see how God has just proved himself faithful um, through our journey and through our marriage and how much it has strengthened us. And we've seen the goodness of God in every area of our life. Um, through our marriage, um, through our relationship with our children and our finances um, and just our walk with the Lord in general. He just continues to blow us away with his goodness. It, it's exciting to have someone that leads our home with uh, happiness and joy and tons of grace and to see God um, just continuously show up in our life. It's amazing and I couldn't ask for more. If there was one thing I could tell um, anyone that may be in my situation or has, has gone through some of the same things is to just keep pressing forward. You know, in the moments where I thought God was absent, He was the most present. And it's, it's something that you just have to continuously push for. It's not always about a feeling. It's not always about knowing that God's there, but He never leaves and He never forsakes and He truly does turn graves into gardens. And it's exciting to see that even when I thought God was so far away, He was right there just waiting for me to be willing and able to do what he had always called me to do. Really, that moment was a whole new resurrection for me. And from, from that day on, really I've been more uh, focused on living in the resurrection and living in the power of the resurrection, not just being resurrected because I was a Christian, uh, but actually doing something every day to strengthen my relationship with God, to be in the Word. I found that in Crystal. Crystal was doing the same thing before we even met. As she was really focused in on having a relationship with, with Christ first before she even um, found somebody to, to spend the rest of her life with. It was during that moment that, um, just that mountaintop moment, which I now have tattooed on me, of course, because it was so significant, that that mountaintop moment, I came down from that mountain and uh, everything just changed. And it was a new resurrection, it was a new life Nobody could understand that. And that was probably the biggest thing I struggled with is I can't explain that to other people. And on the outside, other people looked at it as if, oh, you know, he's just, that's just Jason. He's just, he's just crazy. He's excited. You know, he's always hyper. Uh, he's always kind of doing his thing. But it was that moment that I started really, when I say living in the power of the resurrection, um, I, I take a, a quote from, you know, one of my favorite coaches who says, you know, Go after life, go after everything that you have and everything that you're doing with enthusiasm unknown to mankind. And I call it living out loud. And I've said that a lot of, to a lot of times to a lot of people. I may seem hyper, I may seem crazy, um, but it's just living in the freedom of the resurrection. I know that God's got me. It doesn't matter what happens. And from this day forward and from that moment forward of that you know, large impact of, of losing uh, my wife and then resurrecting to find you know that God gives me another chance another opportunity um, to be a great husband and to be a great father uh, that in that moment um, it's truly unbridled uh, everything's freedom and uh, there's immense freedom in that and uh, that's probably one of the biggest things that I would tell anybody is uh, don't look at my story as a as a depressed story. It, there was depression in there. There was grief in there. There was pain in there. But ultimately, it's all about him and it's a big resurrection story. And I love the fact that now 
I can look back and know that God uh, always had me, always was with me, regardless of whether I was living in the resurrection or just just knew I was saved. And God never leave me. It was me that was leaving God. And uh, now that I'm, you know, that I've been living um, that resurrected life, uh, just the sky's been a limit. He's just blessed us in so many different ways. Thank you.